Yo, what's up guys, welcome back for another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video. Next match, cross balanced cap, left side here. Uh, starting from top 16, we are now at the top 8 of the loser's side of the pack. So both these decks already lost one match. They can, um, well, at least from now on, if they lose another one, they'll be out of the tournament. Next match up here, Blue Eyes versus Wind Witch Invoked. Two uh, underdogs, I can say, right? Both decks are run yeah, pretty much recent decks, 2016, 2017. So they are definitely uh, underdogs. But nonetheless, title candidates, I guess. First list, of course, we have Wind Witch Invoked. Oh, this is, by the way, again, best out of five. So the deck needs to win three times. I think that's much more interesting compared to previously. It's something to work or keep in mind, possibly for next editions from next year uh, or something like that. Is I'm not really sure for the group stage, but starting from top 16, having those extra duels maybe makes it a bit more fair. Less sacky, right? One top deck um, might, win the du might win the duel, you know, if it's like 2-1 or best out of three but making it best out of five, um, that's somewhat quote-unquote solves, you know, that sacky top deck. So anyway, Wind Witch Invoked, again, very strong list, multiple Sanctums, multiple Barriers, can be good, can be terrible here in the cross balanced Cup, but uh, most importantly, main decking Maxi and Ghost Ogre, super, super important, right? Especially here in the next matchup, Blue Eyes, this should be Shunsuki, Shunsuki Zima, Yamas winning wise, um, winning, um, World's list, right? Yeah, first place, if I'm not mistaken, with the Vanity's Emptiness in the main deck, the Wing Blast as well. So which deck has the advantage? Um, I feel it's 50-50, again, two very recent decks. Uh, both are main decking the Hand Traps and mainly Maxi. Uh, very important against uh, both matchups, I guess, but much more important against something like Blue Eyes because of their... Uh, multiple special summons. So if I should uh, pick a winning deck, I think Invoked has a small, small advantage over Blue Eyes. Uh, Blue Eyes again. Those one card engines. Um, the one card engine of Alistair is just very, very strong. So the first tool here, I think I start off with, of course, some nice Invoked shenanigans. And here, uh, I know better, but I take the Maxi challenge, giving him um, a couple of draws. I think eventual plus three overall with those extra draws, uh, but, um, you know, make an, an, making an invincible crystal wing, I think was was needed, especially because I didn't open Alistair and uh, pot but yeah, potential Magabar fusion summon as well, but um, having the crystal wing on side of the field to negate something and, of course, make it indestructible by card effects, I think was needed, um, but still, I'm well aware he does have a couple of outs against it, going for potential big exceed, rank 8 exceed, or something like that, or here in this case, as you see, or we'll see the Phoenix Wing Blast. Yep, he does have it. I believe it's at two in Shunsuki's um, um, list, right? Yeah, double Wing Blast and Wing Blast is one of those easy outs against the Crystal Wing. But my opening hand uh, wasn't that fantastic. And I think I just had to give him those extra draws off of the Crystal Wing. Artifact sent them into sight. Doesn't really matter that much. It's just... Um, no, <laughs> it's not going to matter too much. So game number one goes to Maxi slash Blue Eyes. So again, I get to start here. Game number two. Uh, much better hand, right? Triple field spell, normal summoning the Alistair, getting a surge, luckily no effect failure, well, I did have, no, did not have the invocation, so quite important, but, um, yeah, getting those extra draws, thanks to the, what is it called, you know, the equip spell, drawing to setting up the Alistair, basically, you know, you know, those extra pluses, right? I think the... Not really sure if I can agree with that particular play of forcing out Makaba's effect with Melody. Um, maybe you should have played it the other way around, I guess. Uh, forcing out the monster effect negation with the normal summon of the level 1 blue eyes tuner. And then, you know, using um, uh, Melody, etc. Et you know, go for alternative. But not really sure if it mattered in the long run, having both Makaba and Raijin um, on the side of the field. So I can potentially stop a, a big powerful monster and negate any spell or trap or monster effect, well in this case monster effect or spell effect, right, with Makaba's effect. So pumping out those extra fusions and now I should be able to attack for a game. Yep, that bluff Maxi and the second Makaba deals the last damage. So equalizing the score, game number three is where the opponent starts off and I see the Maxi, so I was like, okay, this well, I guess this is fine, especially because it's going to reveal the soul charge as well. So not thinking about it and immediately dropping the maxi, at least for the one for one. And, you know, yep, indeed he has a tuner, so he's going to give me two extra draws. Um, I, th I think it's justified, right? Going for the blue eyed spirit. 
and Titanic Galaxy as well. Not sure if I can agree with, um, you know, the, the Blue Eyes level 9 cheapening itself for, or, yeah, going for Azure Eyes already. Well, okay, board wipes, you pretty much shut down those board wipes like Darko, right, Geki? But uh, something like Moon Rose, well, have the option for Moon Rose. Um, eventually, I tell him, I tell it to him as well after after this particular duel. Moon Rose, again, very, very important um, in the matchup, right? I mean, if I already used up those extra or at least if he already used up the Titanic Galaxy, if I would have gone for like a fusion summon, something like the Moon Rose can, um, can you know, still form some nice defense. But anyway, uh, I think, yeah, indeed it does have again a Maxi, giving him a couple of draws, but I think, again, I have to accept the Maxi challenge since um, I can go for the burn damage. He does have effect failure, negating Alistair's effect, but I'm not really sure how many effect failures. I believe he does play two, but I think I have to go for it going for the burn damage first and then you know crystal wing to attack over the attack position um you know level 9 synchro and the effect of crystal wing you also know to eventually attack for game so uh, maybe you should have kept the effect failure then again crystal wing are probably um yeah would have would have negated the failure if he used it before so yeah Whatever, right? Uh, another duel again. Uh, game number four, if I'm not mistaken. So Blue Eyes again gets to start. Again, he has a Soul Charge. Uh, maybe you should have played it a little bit differently. Maybe going for Azure Eyes first and then, you know, use a Soul Charge since I believe it's Spirit. Yeah, Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon that prevents the multiple special summons off of Soul Charge. So again, I think going for Azure Eyes first and then, you know, gaining those extra special summons off of Soul Charge. But in the long run, as you're seeing, it doesn't really matter that much now. now He's going for Moon Rose, bouncing back the Mega Bomb that already used its effect. I think I was forced to use its effect, if I'm not mistaken. And that leaves me, um, <laughs> that leaves my field wide open for a big attack. And the Twin Twister will just be negated, right? With um, the, yeah, the Titanic Galaxy again, a very strong field. Both the Spirit, leaving the Spirit here on the field, negating the grave effects of like the um, the Invocation spell, right? And Titanic Galaxy negating Twin Twister, so nope, Sight won't make it on the field. Game number five, two two, much at least the also important game number five. I get to start, and this opening end is delicious i was like okay if it doesn't open valor or maxi i should have this game right so go for the crystal wing eventually no hand trap going for rage and sadly no mega buy you're not allowed with the wind witch engine but still a very strong field can put any monster from him uh, face down potentially shutting down the alternative here which I'm definitely going to do. But again, I I think I have the Crystal Wing still intact, right? Discarding the Alistair to protect your agent on the field. And he again opens up with Soul Charge. And... It, but I think I'm not really sure how many um, legit targets he has in his graveyard. Not too many, I guess. But um, yeah, it does have the what is that? What is it called? Return of the Dragon Lords to protect the alternative. And here you know, I was distracted, setting the Twin Twister as well. Of course, I had to keep it in hand, you know, just in case of board wipes or something like that, or even in this case, the Soul Charge. Uh, okay, it, it, spoiler, it's not going to matter too much. But um, again, with Mega Bar potentially negating the Soul Charge or Already would have sealed the deal. So here in this case, his battle phase was sacrificed, so I can easily, you know, use Sanctum, go for Sight, Artifact Sight, and now I can just uh, take over his monsters and go for games. So I think a well-deserved win, some strange duel, some strange place, but I think overall, um, again, it's part of the game, right, but I think overall we have a well-deserved winner here with Wind Witch and Folk taking the duel. So again, Blue Eyes is out of the tournament, and uh, yeah, Windwich, uh, Windwich and Vogue Indeed will take on Shadows here in the top four uh, on the losers bracket side. So next matchup will be um, yeah, indeed, uh, Pepe, well, Draco Pels, right? Dark Draco Pels versus uh, Paleozoic. So again, yeah, two big decks as well. Two, well, at least one of them being an underdog deck. Um, but still, yeah, Draco Pels might have the advantage there. So like always, feel free to leave your predictions. We had one um, extra duel, right? As somewhat of a filler, you know, prevent spoilers to see how long the match goes. Um, Game number six, so he gets to start. Not that uh, great of an opening hand, but the emptiness is quite of an, yeah, again, very important save for Twin Twister. Uh, was destroying the Sanctum. 
Again, was very important here, since I'm uh, not really sure if he's going to... No, no, he's not going for the extra deck summon, but destroying the Sanctum was important. Uh, potentially going for something like Artifact uh, Moral Tech, right? Moral Tech popping the Blue Eyes alternative would have been important, and both Dimensional Barrier are not live, and I think the third card here on the, at least, um, to the left, I believe is another Artifact side, yeah, indeed. Uh, that sucks so hard. Um, I'm forced to use Compos on the blue eyes and he'll just drop it again. So I believe he now knows that my back rows are quite uh, terrible. So he definitely flips over the Phoenix Wing Blast, dropping the Return of the Dragon Lords, and now he's able to attack for a game. So 3-3, three, three, six games overall. And again, very, very, um, at least both decks definitely did well. So again, going first. It's quite of an important, uh, then again, I believe it was game number two, where uh, Windwitch and Vogue won, uh, at least, it, I, no, it was the other way around. But anyway, well-deserved winner, next matchup will be Paleozoics versus Dark Draco Pell, so like always, feel free to leave your predictions. Okay, guys, that's it, thanks for watching, and feel free to leave a card or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out, peace.